So this is the second example for the ternary system and the system has a mixing gap and let me read the example. A wastewater from a process is loaded with acetone which should be extracted with chlorobenzene. The equilibrium data for the ternary system which contains water, acetone and chlorobenzene are given. And these data, the data in the table, are used to create the binodal curve and um, the composition of the coexisting phases in equilibrium in weight percent. So in the water phase there is water, acetone, chlorobenzene and in the organic phase water, acetone, chlorobenzene are also in the given. So in order to understand this table we need to draw them, draw the points and all the points will lead to creating this beautiful binodal curve. <clears throat> And also an interesting data is that, uh, for example, if I take this point here, this is the raffinate phase point in the diagram and this is the point of the extract phase in the diagram. So when I draw it, it actually are the points which are R and E and R and E over here. So these are the points that are coexisting points. This is the R point, this is the E point. And when you draw, when you connect a line to R and E, you create a conode. And by using the conode information, you can draw this um, line over here, curve over here, this curve splits the ternary diagram, splits the raffinate and um, extract phase. So basically all of this uh, points in the side will be the raffinate phase and all these points will be the extract phase. And how do we find this, uh, this curve? We use uh, the conode points, R and D points. And then from the R, we draw a parallel um, line to the uh, C side. Yes, to the C side. And from the E point, I draw a parallel line to the A side. So basically, that's how I po how we find all these points. So this diagram gives us many points of R, E, so I draw all of the R's and E's and then draw the conodes and then with parallel to the sides I draw something like that and then I find this uh, K line, K curve. And what is this K point? This K point is actually given to us at the bottom and this point is basically the point that uh, splits the binodal curve into two parts and the K point is actually the um, critical point and where there is no separation going on but if you go down by the side of the curves you get separations so the, first of all we need to determine the triangle diagram including the phase equilibrium line and conodes. So using this diagram I drew on the ternary diagram and it resulted in something like this. So we drew the equilibrium binodal curve and then from the points uh, we drew R and E's and drew the conodes that connect the R and E's and then after that we point out the K and from the point K we use uh, the conode points uh, to find this curve. So the A has been solved. Uh, second question asks us to find the water and chlorobenzene content of the aqueous phase raffinate with an acetone concentration of 45% and of the coexisting phase. So basically this problem statement has given us what is XCR. XCR is equal to 0.45 and we need to find XAR and XPR. And also we need to find 
the mole fraction of the coexisting phase, which is for the extract. So we need to find XAE, XBE, and XCE that is coexisting with this mixture. So we find XCR 0 0.45. So XCR 0 0.45 is over here, and C point is over here. So opposite of the C angle is B. So I go like this, and then I find the R point that is um, intersecting on the binodal curve. So from here I find XAR, which is 0 0.535, and XBR, which is 0 0.015. And then from the this point I drew the parallel line to the K curve, and then a parallel line to the A through to the other side of the binodal curve, and I find E point. And after finding the E point, I found the mole fractions from the graph, which resulted in XAE is equal to 0 0.04, XBE is equal to 0 0.41, and XCE is equal to 0 0.55. Question 3 is asking us which amount of acetone has to be added to a mixture existing of 110 grams of chlorobenzene and 90 grams of water. What is the composition of the mixing point? So, when we put it into a table, we see chlorobenzene as mass 110 grams and water as 90 grams, and acetone being zero, not listed here, and chlorobenzene weight percent would be 55%, water will be 45%. So, let me draw it as a point G on the diagram and XAG would be 0.45, XBG would be 0.55 and XCG will be 0. So when we find the G point it comes down to here. And in order to find what is the amount of acetone need to uh, be added in order to reach this M point we need a ruler so we measured from C to M, it is 40 millimeters, and from M to G, it's going to be 69 millimeters. And how do we know which point is M is to draw from G to C point. So to know how much of the acetone we need to add. So from the uh, graph, we found CM is 40 millimeters and MG is 69 millimeters. And G, which is the amount of mixture that is um, that needs acetone addition to reach the point M over here. Uh, we use the simple equation G over C equals to CM over MG. So G we know that it's 200 grams. C is the amount of acetone needed in order to reach the end point. And 40 millimeters over 69 millimeters. So C is equal to 345 grams. So, uh, to reach the point from G to M by adding acetone, we need 345 grams of acetone to reach the point M. And from this point M, we also can find the mole fractions. It turns out XAM is equal to 0 0.16, XBM 0 0.21, XCM 0.63. So, the next question is asking us, what is the water-free composition of the mixing point? So in order to find the water-free composition of the mixing point, you um, connect M with A, because at this point, water is zero. So you connect A to M, and M 
to the C side because at this side A is 0 so you find M bar and then after finding the M bar you can find the mole fractions of the M bar so it was determined XB M bar is equal to 0.25 XC M bar is equal to 0.75 and XA uh, M bar is 0